In the book uh, Futuha- Sham, there is a story of a Sahabi by the name of Darar bin Zarara radiyallahu ta'ala anhu. During jihad, his horse began to weaken and tire and began to pull back. So Hazrat Darar radiyallahu ta'ala anhu would hit him, would tap him and say, Why won't you run? Why won't you run? And the horse just didn't have the strength. Finally, on the way back, the horse began to really become extremely fatigued and would not even run even a little bit. So then Darar radiyallahu ta'ala anhu, he whispered to the horse. He says, I will complain about you in front of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that you are not supporting me. The writer writes in Futuh sham that the horse turned around and did not rest until he was back in Medina. This, my dear brothers, is the level of, of uh, commitment that even animals had for Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. But at the same time, look at the rahmah of Rasulullah upon animals. On the way to Badr, because the Muslims were still very few, and in terms of a strictly numeric standpoint, much uh, less armed than the non-Muslims in the Quraysh of Mecca, on the way they only had one animal for each of three riders, and that animal could either be a horse, a camel, or a mule. It just so happened that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam were riding one animal. Along with Hazrat Ali and Hazrat Dardah radiallahu ta'ala who day three were committed to one animal. And what used to be is there was a horn uh, that was blown or there was a, a ilan that was made which would, would signal that it was time to turn or change the rider. And so one of the riders would switch off and one of the riders would remain on top. Rasulullah had made it a hukum, had given a commandment that no more than two riders can ride any animal because it may give undue stress upon that animal. So Hazrat Ali, Hazrat Darda, and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam are all committed to one animal. It begins out that Rasulullah and Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu are upon the animal. And Hazrat Darda radiallahu ta'ala anhu is holding the ligam or the reins of the animal and leading it forward. The horn or an i'lan or announcement is made when all of a sudden Hazrat Ali comes down and Hazrat Darda radiallahu ta'ala who gets on top of the animal behind Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. They continue to ride when all of a sudden another announcement is made. Now Darda radiallahu ta'ala who also comes down. Hazrat Ali comes down and Rasulullah comes down. All of them are now, Darda and Hazrat Ali look to each other. How can we ride? When the Nabi of Nabis, when the last of the Prophets, when Rasul of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam is on the ground, is going to be, it is impossible for us to do this. Rasulullah looks upon them and he says to them, Go, I am a Nabi of Haq, of justice, of Adal. If I don't do Adal, how can I expect my Ummah to do Adal? I am the Nabi and I will walk. Such was the insaf, the justice of our Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam.